Hi guys, it's that time again. Which is better? And in this case, it's going to be monstrosity versus edge of sanity. And we're going to start right now. The album appears to be reprehensible, reprehensibly overlooked when it comes to Florida's death metal classics. So I really hope that this that time will give this album its long overdue praise. What I love about this album is that there's grandiose riffs and blast beats. This album is jam-packed, full of absolute killer riffs, and this is what makes the album stand out. The songwriting and arrangements are also well chosen, which makes this an easy album to listen to. Now, one song that will blast you away is the fourth track, Immense Malignancy. Also, the Morris Sound production still stands the, the test of time. The guitar sound is thick and crunchy, the drums are pounding and Coolest Grinder's vocals are one of the best he's ever recorded. The mastering has left a good amount of dynamics thanks to the age of the production and it's not completely compressed to to the point where you feel it's an unlistenable pile of shit. Just turn up the volume and what I don't understand is why this album is so underrated compared to for example early Cannibal Corpse. Now don't get me wrong I love Cannibal Corpse but this album kills at least the first two albums of Cannibal Corpse with bravery. So if you're looking for some underrated US death metal pearls, this will definitely be the album to start with. Age of Sanity, another underrated death metal band. Not as heavy as Dismember, Entombed or Grave, and not as melodic as At The Gates, Dark Tranquility or In Flames. Their prog death fusion over is kind of overshadowed by the band Opeth. This album signifies the start of Age of Sanity's progressive death metal stage. Not as melodic as Purgatory Afterglow, but more melodic than Unorthodox. The hard edge of both Nothing But Death remains, and Unorthodox is still present, but tends to take a step back. The spiritual sorrows emphasis on melody and song structure. The songs on the album tend to focus on a few ideas rather than riff after riff, which usually becomes tedious after a few tracks anyways. However, you will still get the essence of good old school Swedish death metal riffing here. The vocal department is a step up from the previous work. Swano's Horos Death sh Shout is still as powerful as the last two albums, but feels more controlled and audible. Key vocals make a return here, but not in grand fashion. Those looking for more of an emphasis on key vocals should check out the albums that were released after this one. Production still has that early Swedish death metal sound. The, the drums are very thin compared to Unorthodox. This is something that you might pick up off the bat. It's not a bad thing, but adds character to the record, which is something interesting about this time period of metal. Unlike Unorthodox, Spectral Sorrows doesn't suffer from too much repetition. We hear lots of song variation throughout the album, like the intro to the album and the outro, A Serenade for the Dead. We have standard death metal songs such as Dark Day and Living Hell. Melodic death numbers such as Last, Jesus Cries, and Waiting to Die. Progressive tinged numbers like Across the Fields or Forever and The Mask. But we also have the odd numbers such as the catchy goth rock song Sacrifice and the hardcore inspired Feeding the Charlatan. Although credited for the vocals, I'm not quite sure if Dan Swano actually sung on Charlatan. These tracks are out of place and aren't bad when you listen to them. Like early albums such as Metallica's Kill Them All or Slayer's Show No Mercy, these tracks may sound cheesy but are a blast. Overall, The Spectral Sorrows is a solid release of early de Swedish death metal with nice progressive gothic elements added into the mix. For fans that really that recently got into Age of Sanity, I'm guessing Crimson or Crimson Part 2, The Spectral Sorrows is a good place to start back backtracking since you get a good get a good mix of everything Age of Sanity was about. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought was the better album. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.